It's not exactly the same socket, but what does that matter? And I tell you, I hate digging these things out of here. So it will be nice to have them just setting where I can easily pop them out moving forward. This thing, I, I about lose my religion every time I have to use one of these and try to pop this thing off of here. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna try to get these off real quick and see if we can get those in the, the thing also. Well, I have a problem. So with this one, and this is the joy of doing this um, and the way I did it, I did not include the four um, hex. So I'm gonna have to reprint this. But the lucky thing is, it only takes me a minute to reprint it. Um, I just, I'll go into the uh, OpenSCAD file and add the, um, the four down here and print it again. So once you download OpenSCAD and the SCAD file, I'll send you the links in the description. So you'll notice you don't edit the graphics itself. You come over and edit the text. So we have two things in the text here we're worried about. One is the dimension of each socket. Now each one of these is gonna be the same. So we're just gonna add another 1832 for the dimension. And then we're gonna come down and add one label, which is the four. And now we're gonna go ahead and redo a preview and make sure it added it. And there you can see it added the four. So now we're gonna hit F6 to create a render. Once it's rendered, we're gonna export it as an STL file. And then we will bring it into our slicer to create the G code. So now we bring that same um, file into our slicer that we just created. You can see there how it's gonna lay out on the, the plate. So we go ahead and slice it. And now we're just gonna export it as G code file. And we're gonna move it over to the printer and let it print. It doesn't take too long just for one. Um, and there's the finished product. You can see now we've got it added with the four there. Got the, uh, the other one printed there, so let's go ahead and install it here. So you can see that was a pretty easy modification to get that one printed. So now I've got room for the four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. And I wish there was a way to recycle the filament, but it just gets recycled in the trash can. Um, at this point, though, I went down from one went down from two doors to one. So that was a bit, really big improvement and everything is easily accessible. You can just pick up anything you want, pick up any socket you want and then drop it back in place. 